Hello, this is lecture number 5. Uh, topic is electro pneumatics, and uh, question is A plus B plus B minus and A minus. This is very typical problem. Okay, so we will see the circuit. Already I have drawn the circuit. There are two cylinders, and for first circuit A plus A minus. Instead of A plus and A minus, I can give Y1 and Y2 also and here Y3 and Y4, no issue. So A plus is nothing but Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. S1 and S2 are two sensors for first circuit, S3 and S4 are second circuit. And this is a compressor, this is a motor, okay, this is a 5 by 2 double solenoid wall, this is also 5 by 2 double solenoid wall. The question is exactly in this process the first cylinder holds the workpiece and second cylinder for example it drills and it goes back then when it goes back when when the uh, the first cylinder gets a confirmation from second cylinder I went back then the first cylinder goes back so early there are uh, at least there are three types of problems the first one this is easy a plus b plus a b minus at a time already i covered covered in the previous lecture and a plus b plus a minus b minus is also easy the first cylinder goes second cylinder comes and so first cylinder it goes back then second cylinder but this is very typical a plus b plus b minus a minus this logic is very very important and typical the third already i have covered these two problems in the previous lectures now, I draw an electro pneumatic circuit. So, I will draw an electro pneumatic circuit here. I will start with here there is a problem. What is the problem here? Just you see that. And uh, this is what is my main objective? First cylinder has to go. Okay. Or the first cylinder A plus has to actuate. Correct? This is 24 dcv, this is 0 dcv, okay, direct current. The when it is at S1, okay, fine, when it is at S1 and here, when it is at S1, the Y1 should on, Y1 should on, fine. When it goes to S2, Y3 should on, correct. But what is the problem? When it goes back, when it goes to S4, it goes back to Y4, S3. Once again, second cylinder only reciprocating. So that, in this case, I will use a relay. A relay will help us. So, a relay, you know that, a relay, this is symbol of relay, relay. Say for example, K1, the name of relay is K1. Okay. Now, in this problem, what I will do, when S3 goes, when, when, when the S3 uh, when the Y3 will on, it is only S3 condition. But I will put two condition. First cycle, not only S3, one more signal I will generate. Which signal? Y1 should on. Usually, as soon as when, the S, when this piston goes forward, S1 will be off. Then Y1 will be off. But I will generate a Y1 signal. I will put this Y3 condition. I will put Y3 condition y3 is a function of not only s2 when 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 the piston comes to s2 but y1 also while and the second time when it goes back what i'll do y3 one one this will be i'll make this is a off then automatically y3 will be stop stop it there or the piston will be stopped there at the s3 initially i'll make y3 is a function of y s2 y but how to make y1 is on because immediately as the piston goes to this side, the S1, it loses the contact of S1, so that Y1 will be off. So, I will go for latching, that is a K1, K1, but this Y1 should be off somewhere, because before, before actuating Y2, Y1 should be off, otherwise the malfunctioning. So that somewhere, I will make this latching should be off, when, when the second cylinder reaches to S4. When it, when it reaches to S4, after that it has to go back so that 
what I'll do, so it should be off, the K1, K1 means Y1 should be off when it reaches to S4. Indirectly what I have done, I have generated a one signal here, that is a Y1 and when the piston comes to S4, up to S4 this Y1 is, our K1 is live or on. So now K1 is the thing, but what the first A plus or Y1, Y1 is what? Solenoid wall. Y1 is what? Solenoid wall. So Y1 is solenoid wall. Indirectly, I will generate a one signal at the S1, it reaches to S4. At the S4 will be off, at S1 will be on. I will generate the which K1 signal. I will generate the K1 signal or, or Y1. I will generate a Y1 or K1 at S1 and I will make at off at S4. So now this is Y1 is on. Now the piston moves where S2. But when the piston moves the S2, the K1 is closest, K1, Y1 is remains on. Now this Y1 signal, you see that, this Y1 signal and S2, if these two are true, and AND gate, like these two are true, both are true, then it has to come back. The piston has to come down. That is Y3. So, for Y3, what I will do, I will not, as usual, usually what I have to do, when it comes to S2, the Y3 is on. No, in this case, Y3 is on. Not only this, Y1 or K1. K1. When K1, both K1 is nothing but Y1. Here, K1 is nothing but Y1. So, when K1 and S2 are, both are on, now both are on, so that which solenoid wall has to on? Which solenoid wall has to on? Y3. Y3. Usually, I will give S2. Additionally, I have given K1 and I have generated K1 by latching as well as this K1 should off when the piston. Now, when Y3 is on, it comes to Y3 is on, it, the piston comes to S4. Here, when it comes to S4, when it comes to S4, so automatically, when it comes to S4, this will be open. Now, K1 is off. Now, K1 is off means now, Y1 is off. Means Y1 has on here and off at S4. Now it has off. Now when it come to S4, when it comes to S4, I will generate one more signal. So or Y4. So Y2 is a function of what? Y2 is a function of not only it comes back S3, Y2 is a function of Y4 also. These two are important. Y2 Usually Y2 will depend on S3. If I make S3, this is not working. So that, what I'll do, Y2 is a function of, so Y4 is nothing but, now, this is, I'll take one more relay, K2, second relay, and here, I'll make K2 is on, but K2, where, where, where it should be off, where it should be off, at S4 it is generated, but it will off and reaches to S1. So that, I'll make, when it reaches to S1, so when it reaches to S, S1, the K2 should be off. And here what happened? The piston has to go back when the K2 is on, when K2 is on, the which solenoid wall has to on? Which solenoid ha wall has to on? That is Y4. Now it goes back at S3, now the Y2 should on, the, this piston should come back. Now, what are the conditions? Okay, it has reached to S3 after this line and Y4 is already on because Y4, Y4 is nothing but here I will write K2 is nothing but Y4, K2 is nothing but Y4. Okay, so now here K2 is latch, K2 is on, K2 is on so that the last step is AND gate, which are AND, S3, as well as Y4. Y4 is nothing but what? K2. And both are on. So, definitely, which solenoid wall? Which solenoid wall? Y2 solenoid wall. Y2. 
So like this, this is slightly complicated. I have latched two times and I have taken two AND gates. Now exactly it works. Otherwise it is not working. Otherwise as usual simple. When it reaches to S2 and Y3 has to start. When it reaches to S4 then Y2 should be on. No. Here it first the Y1 is on. When S1 Y1 is on here. During that Y1 is remains on because I have latched. So that K1 is on. I have generated one signal here K1. And here I will generate K2 signal. Okay. So and K1 signal off I will make off at S4. And S4 one more signal I will generate that is a K2. And I will make off when reaches to this piston as S1. So that you remember these two equation. And two K1 and K2 I have taken two relays. Without relay it is not possible to solve here. Okay. So like this. This is called electric ladder logic electric ladder logic same this circuit i will show on the software you are understanding uh, in a better manner okay so this if you understand this uh, it, it contains lot of fundamentals the latching as well as you are creating a signal k1 and you are creating a signal k2 okay so creating a signal k1 where k1 is starts at starts at s1 and off at s4 and k2 start at start at s4 and off at s1 so you have to remember this okay definitely it is working Now you see here, same the question is draw pneumatic circuit, actually draw electro pneumatic circuit, actually draw a electro pneumatic circuit, okay, uh, fine, draw electro pneumatic circuit for A plus, B plus, B minus and A minus, okay, two cylinders, here same, S1, when it is at S1, K1 means Y1 has to on, hmm. okay, indirect through the relay, but I have latched this K1 is remains on. When the piece, this piston goes to S4, okay, and I'll show like this. First cylinder goes, then second cylinder goes, then second cylinder come back, then fourth cylinder come back, and this cycle will uh, continue. Same, same, whatever I have drawn the board, same K1, K2, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. Instead of A plus and A minus, I have considered Y1, Y2. B plus B minus, I have considered Y3 and Y4. Okay. And without relay, you cannot solve this problem. You have to use a relay that is K, at least two relays. K1 and K2. One relay at Y1 and one more relay at Y4. Or one relay at S1 and one more relay at when S4 is on. And when S1 is and first relay will be on at S1 and off at S4. Second relay will on at S4 and off at S1. So you are used to two conditions then only it is possible. Otherwise this circuit is not working. Only this is a way uh, in an electro pneumatic. Okay same circuit pure pneumatics also you can solve. Uh, pure pneumatics also you can solve. Otherwise PLC programming, same circuit, you can go for PLC programming and pure pneumatic is bit difficult to understand compared to electro pneumatic. Easy is PLC programming, then electro pneumatics, then pneumatics. Usually pneumatics is tougher than electro pneumatics and mechatronics. I hope you understand the working of this circuit. For this circuit, the practicing Practice is important, understanding is important. If you practice twice or thrice, definitely you are understanding. Thank you.